Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode 10 of Lightroom Quick Tips. In this episode, we're going to talk about targeted adjustments. In my opinion, one of the most powerful tools in Lightroom are targeted adjustments, and most people don't even know how to use them. And where they come particularly handy is when you have like a lifestyle shot, such as this one, where you have some background that you'd like to enhance the background, but you have some people in the shot and you don't want to mess with their skin tone. And the way you would do that is with the targeted adjustment. So go to the Develop Module Lightroom, go to the right-hand panel, go to the HSL Color B&W panel and open that up, and make sure you're on the Saturation tab. And you can see in the left-hand corner there's this little circle. Click on that and your cursor turns into that circle with a set of crosshairs. So we want to target the colors in the background. So I'm going to put the cursor over the color I want to target. In this case, I'm going to go for this kind of blurry stalk back here of grass. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the left button of my mouse. Now when I do that, this is going to disappear and you won't be able to see what I'm doing. So what I'm going to be doing is when I click that left button, I'm just going to simply drag straight up with the mouse while holding in that left button. As I mentioned, the cursor will disappear, but look over here and you're going to see the appropriate colors are going to increase in saturation. Okay, let's do it. I'm clicking down on the left mouse button and I'm pushing straight up on my mouse. Straight up. Now you can see the yellows and the greens enhanced quite a bit, but it didn't affect their skin tone. So uh, there is before and there's after. Before, after. So it was a real easy way to enhance that background and really not mess with their skin tones at all. Uh, let's go to another shot. Here's a lot of foliage in the background here and we have this family. So I have my uh, cursor. Let's go to a nice green right here. So I'm clicking down on that left mouse button. I'm dragging straight up. And you can see the greens are going up in aqua believe it or not, it's going up a little bit. All right, let's uh, do another one. Now I did that, so I'd like the yellows enhanced a little more too. So I'm going to pick something that's a little more towards yellow, and I'm clicking down on that left mouse, left mouse button, say that five times real fast, and dragging up. Okay, so I enhanced the background, and I really didn't mess th with their skin tone at all. There is before, and there's after. There's before, there's after. Let's say that you already enhanced your image and you messed up someone's skin tone. Well, what you could do is do the opposite. Instead of dragging straight up, drag straight down. Now in this case, her face is a little orangey. The background is really processed heavily, but the uh, mom's face is a little orangey here. So we're going to click on that left mouse button and I'm dragging straight down. And you can see I pulled the orange out of her face and it really is much better skin tone now. So there is before and after. Let's do it again. In this case here, uh, this woman's face is a little kind of yellowish orange and everyone else seems okay. So we're going to click on her face with the left mouse button and drag straight down. And you can see I'm pulling the yellows and the oranges out of her face like that. Now it's a real subtle adjustment in this case because it wasn't off that much, but there's before and there's after. So that's it. That's how you could do targeted adjustments and it really will help you um, enhance certain parts of your images while leaving the rest of it alone so you won't really mess up anyone's skin tone at all. Um, that's it. Thank you very much everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it and thank you for sharing them and, and liking them and all that stuff. I really do appreciate it. And guys, if you have time, subscribe to my YouTube channel. All right? I'll talk to you soon.